Theatrical makeup artists apply makeup to performers before an event or filming takes place. In this video, we're going to help you answer the question, should you become a theatrical makeup artist in 2021? We're going to go over the latest salaries, job market statistics, and the latest trends. Coming up. Hey everyone, Stephen Hack here with Career Watch, where we help you with your career search. If you end up enjoying the video, hit that thumbs up to support the channel. All the charts and graphs used in this video are available at my blog at careerwatch.co slash blog slash theatrical makeup artist. Theatrical makeup artists have a number of roles and responsibilities. They select the proper makeup to use for a production. Once they figure out the makeup for a particular character, they duplicate that work day after day. They cleanse and tone the skin before makeup application. They ensure that the makeup used in the production doesn't cause skin irritation to the actors and actresses. They also ensure the makeup reflects the situation, taking into consideration the time period of the production, the culture, and general context. And finally, they work with the stage crew to examine how the lighting affects the looks of different characters. Regarding the salaries and incomes of theatrical makeup artists, they do really well compared to similar occupations. All this salary data is from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. They assume a 40 hour work week. By base salary, theatrical makeup artists tend to earn more than barbers, floral designers, hairstylists, jewelers, and manicurists and pedicurists. Although one thing to note is theatrical makeup artists don't make tips the way barbers make tips and the way hairdressers earn commissions and tips. But just going by base salary, theatrical makeup artists do pretty well. The other great thing about the wages of theatrical makeup artists is they have been rising really quickly over the past couple of years. In 1999, the Bureau of Labor Statistics recorded $25,180 as the average base salary for theatrical makeup artists. This rose to $81,600 in 2019. So wages for theatrical makeup artists almost tripled in just about two decades. If trends continue and this wage growth continues, Theatrical makeup artists in 2021 will make on average around $87,000 per year, and by 2029, they'll make a staggering $110,000 per year just as a base salary. Now, depending on geography, work environment, industry, number of years of experience, these all contribute to how much theatrical makeup artists tend to make. The bottom 10% only make around $24,000 per year. This could be a starting salary, and this could be someone that's not working in the motion pictures industry. Whereas the top 10% of theatrical makeup artists, these are probably theatrical makeup artists that are working in Hollywood or working for Netflix. They start at around $145,000 and they go up from there. So there is a $115,000 difference between the bottom 10% and the top 10% of theatrical makeup artists. One of the variables that influences their pay is geography. Interestingly, New York State is the highest paying state for theatrical makeup artists with an average base salary of around $105,000 per year. I, I would have thought it would have been California, but California still pays them quite a bit of money with an average base salary of around $90,000 per year. Other high paying states include New Mexico, Florida, and DC, which isn't a state, but it also tends to pay theatrical makeup artists a lot of money. And as I said before, industry also plays a big role in their compensation. The motion picture and video industry tends to pay them the most amount of money. There is no surprise here. Whereas performing arts companies, probably like local theaters, they tend to pay a little bit less. So that covers the compensation of theatrical makeup artists. What is the job market like? Is this a growing occupation or is this a shrinking occupation? Well, the first thing to keep in mind is this is a tiny niche occupation of only around 3,400 jobs in 2019. There are far more barbers, floral designers, hairstylists, jewelers, and manicurists and pedicurists. Because this is such a tiny occupation, you really can only find work in a couple different hubs. Fortunately for theatrical makeup artists, this is changing. The good news for theatrical makeup artists is the number of jobs has been growing by quite a bit. In 1999, there was 1,170 employed theatrical makeup artists. This rose to 3,400 in 2019. Just like how the wages have tripled in about two decades, the number of employed has also about tripled in two decades. The government is predicting about an 18% increase in the number of jobs over the next 10 years. So by 2029, 
there'll probably be around 4,000 jobs. This occupation is still going to be pretty tiny compared to other occupations, and you really have to live in certain places to find work, but it is growing pretty quickly. Looking at geography, there's really only job opportunities in two different states, the state of California and the state of New York. About half of all theatrical makeup artists are employed in the state of California, and New York has about 500 employed. So if you really want to work in this occupation, you really want to live in New York City or California. And the majority of theatrical makeup artists will work in the motion picture and video industry. Three-fourths of theatrical makeup artists work in the motion picture and video industry. So how do you figure out if this occupation is for you? Definitely look into taking a RIASEC assessment. It's basically an interest inventory. You go through, you fill out these forms, and you say what you're interested in and what you're not interested in. And then your results come back with scores for six different themes. For theatrical makeup artists, they score high in the artistic and the realistic theme. People that score high in the artistic theme are creative, independent, unconventional, intuitive, expressive, and they love self-expression. And then people that score high in the realistic theme are reliable, practical, thrifty. They like working with their hands and they like being outside. So if you also score high in the artistic and realistic themes, this occupation might be a good fit for you. The other great thing about this occupation is that the barrier to entry is pretty low. 43% of theatrical makeup artists actually haven't finished high school. 17% finished high school and got a certificate and 13% have some college. So almost 50% of people in this occupation actually haven't finished high school. So the barrier to entry is pretty low. So as you can see, there are pros and cons to becoming a theatrical makeup artist in 2021. The barrier to entry is pretty low, definitely doesn't require any higher education to work in this occupation. Wages have tripled in about two decades. Very few occupations have seen this kind of wage growth. The number of jobs has tripled in about two decades. And again, very few occupations have seen that kind of job growth. But the main weakness of this occupation is that it is so tiny. You can only really live in two different states to find work. You really have to live in the state of California or the state of New York to find employment. Are you a theatrical makeup artist? What do you enjoy about this occupation and what do you dislike about this occupation? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.